and please welcome your first point here to the cage from Denmark, Jonas Gotta say, I like both these records as well. Three and one, three and five. Two guys with, you know, three wins each. Should, it should make for a very even contest, which is, of course, what we want to see. Absolutely. Now, Skov, the first first of our Danish contingent here to, to fight. So, I mean, always interested in seeing the Scandinavian guys. They always come to fight. Yeah, we have a few. Uh, I've seen a few Scandinavian guys, Danish, Norway, uh, on the on the local circuit, and they're always they're always impressive. They're they're so well prepared. They always come in in good shape as well. They're not going to make that make that distance to to come out and, and get flattened out. Absolutely not. So both both starting off on the feet, both looking to to land. A few kicks being thrown, a few punches being thrown. No one really getting an advantage at the moment, I don't think. Walters do, does look very very fast. He does have some some fast hands, some fast fast kicks. But again, it's how how long you can keep this that pace for. Yeah, but I think it should. I don't think that pace should be too bad. It's not like like with the fight we saw earlier on in the night where they were throwing it. Every shot was a power shot. That's what that's what tied out daily. This is, you know, this is different. It's there. It is more controlled without. A yeah, doubt. definitely more composed. Some nice kicks, nice punches, but not not over not overthrown anything. You got Scoff there pressing forward. He's looking to uh, keep the pressure on. They're both in the centre. It's actually no one's really, really getting advantage at the moment. So far. It's a bit, a bit of, looks like a bit of a kickboxing match so far. Yeah, very even as well. No one's really take, took ownership for this fight yet. Nice body shot there yeah. from Scott. Yeah, Walters lands a leg kick as it but takes the takes a, a solid body shot. We could even hear the thud as that landed there. Oh, that Ooh, was straight a bit to the low. groin there. Big kick there from Walters. It was all clearly an accident. He put his hand up straight away and yeah, he, knew, he knew it was an accident. He knew he didn't mean it. Again, but another hazard of the hazard of the job. 
Yeah, when they're going for those inside leg kicks to the, to the inside, inside of the thigh, unfortunately, if they do ride up a little bit, there is a chance they're always going to going to hit that cup. And we know how that feels. It's not it's not nice. It's not a not a pleasant feeling. No. I always always imagine. Well, after, whenever I've been here, I always end up needing to go to the toilet afterwards. So being in there would not be uh, ideal for me because I don't think they'd let me have the break. <laughs> wow, they give you a few minutes. You have to be quick. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Show your wristband, get back in, you should be all right. <laughs> they're good to go now, he's, he's recovered. They'll touch gloves, which I always like to see, and they're back off again. Absolutely. Nice leg kick there from Scov. Again, Scoff's very lively. Very even. Again, both guys in the centre of the cage. There's no waiting good. for that shot that may give someone the advantage. I wouldn't, wouldn't, in situations like this, it makes you glad that you're not one of the judges. Yeah, it's a difficult fight to score. Scov's looking good with his hands, but... Walt was looking good with his kick. Can he get a takedown here? He's got grip of the leg. He's gone for the waist now. Very good balance there because he did have the leg. He had, had, the, had the leg of Walt. He's, I think he's going to defend it. Great takedown defense from Walt really? there to get off the cage and to break that grip. I actually thought at one stage that he was going to the ground. That was a really good, uh, really good defense there. I don't like the way uh, Scott tries to grab that leg. Here. That's never good. Yeah. You leave yourself open. In case he goes high. Over the top. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh, Ooh, big overhand right there. But Scott he committed there, didn't he? But I uh, think he hit the arm there. I don't think it connects on the, on the face. That's the problem, though, when you overcommit to the punches. I found that when, uh, uh, when watching Paul Daly at Bellator fighting uh, Douglas Lima. He was overcommitting. He was teeing up the shots. And, and against a, you know, a more experienced guy, they can see that coming. Yeah, they, they, you've got to not, they always say you don't telegraph what you're doing. And that's, that's what you're doing, isn't it? You're telegraphing what you're doing. You've got to disguise yeah. it. And he, ne and he nearly got punished there for when he telegraphed it. But... Did block it to credit term and uh, again, pretty even firefight until the end of the round. It's not a round I'd like to sc score. I don't think if I'd be very tempted to get it if I was scoring. I'd be very tempted to do this as a 10 10 round yeah. because I don't feel like either guy really grabbed that round by, by the throat and said, This is my round. I would be very, I mean, it's not very often you see a 10 10 round. No, it's, it, it, I, would, I would definitely, definitely agree with that. I mean, no one had a clear advantage there. Both guys were, were in the centre essentially, one, one takedown attempt, which was, was defended. Yeah, there, he wasn't punished with the defence. It, it was defended, but he didn't take shots in the defence uh, while, while he was, def you know, while it was being defended. I, I would. They both landed kicks. They both landed punches, but no one landed anything that was fight changing. Yeah, absolutely. No, so definitely, definitely a tough round. Tough round to score there. Yeah, very much so. I think whichever way it went, you wouldn't be able, you wouldn't be able to argue that it wasn't your round. Uh, was, was your round because no one's done enough really to cement that round. Yeah, as you say, if if if, you, if someone gave that a ten ten, I don't think. Uh, anyone would have much reason to turn their nose up at that no not at all let's see what we're going to get in the second round see if someone can take ownership for this fight and they've not, not, both guys look fresh so the cardio's not I don't think the cardio's going to be an issue at all in this fight no let's both, see guys, if, both guys look in very good shape so. yeah let's see if what, anyone can take over I mean, the fight now Walters has had eight fights in his amateur career so I mean uh, as an amateur he's pretty, he's pretty damn experienced so very experienced yeah uh, there we go now both guys getting a bit more in the, the output there was a little bit higher than it's been from the, the first round there was a lot of single shots rather than teeing up any combos yeah what was punches there looked good as well because they were straight they were straight down the middle where Scott was kind of was circling his punches a little bit Walters was uh, firing some, some aggressive straight hands there and a nice uppercut there as well as there, there, is, there is blood over Scott but I think it's come from the mouth of Walters which looks to be bleeding yeah possibly Oh, Skov teed up a big overhand there again. Well, was boxing is looking better now, though. He's landing the combos, and Skov is swinging with, for a big shot, but Walters has taken his time, and he's landing one, two, three. And that's, that's, that could be the difference at the moment. That could be the difference in this fight, is that, is that combination on the punches. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think, as you are saying, in the, in the first round, I felt it was a lot of feeling out, a lot of single shots, one, twos, whilst here, so far, Walters has when, had success when he does put the combos together, and I'd like see him doing a bit more of that. I think uh, with the way this round is going so far, I would think that Scott would need to look for a takedown. I mean, he went for the takedown in round one and was very close. That's a nice leg kick. But while was boxing, he's looking crisper than Scott at this stage. I think he Absolutely. needs to close the distance and get, get in uh, around the waist and see if he can drag him to the floor. Yeah, Scott, Scott is working, working with that leg kick. But yeah, I, I do agree with you. If, I would be interested to see how another grappling exchange would go, whether he could actually secure the takedown. Little short Superman punch there. It's looking like a good night for uh, Focus MMA. Like I say, we've already had the one win and they're looking on track here. I mean, 
Walters is, after a close first round he does seem to have taken over a little bit with his boxing absolutely if, uh, at the end of the day if Walt, Walters takes this fight he's back to four and five it's just one more win and then you've broken your broken you've got your record breaking even then which is yeah. always nice nice body kick there as well from Walters I think that Walters is using his range quite well he's got the slightly longer arms and he's managing to keep Skov on the end of it big punch there from Skov definitely the difference in this fight at the minute is the boxing of, of uh, Walters his hands look very very good and I like his straight punches Skov is, isn't throwing the straight punches I like the straight punches that yeah. Walters is throwing because they're Skov getting straight down the middle Skov is definitely coming in mainly more with hooks and the haymakers and not getting quite the same range that, that Walters is, is keeping him on with the, with the straights as you say yeah he's again they're being telegraphed so he can get in and get a couple of punches off before he even gets close which is yeah, Walters, Walters, Walters is doing very well. light on his feet I think Scott is starting to feel those punches as well he's backed off a few times there oh. we go and again, is Walters going to fend off his takedown? That could be very disheartening for Skov, though. If, if he that, again, that looked deep. That was excellent defence by Walters. That is the difference in this fight, is the boxing and the takedown defence. Absolutely. Now, we both said that we felt the first round was very, very close, 10-10, but I do feel that Walters has taken over there. The takedown defence was fantastic, but his boxing was what, me, what would have given me that round for I, him. I, I, I'd be inclined to agree with you. I think if, if uh, Skov had managed to get that takedown there towards the end of the round, then... It could have made it a little bit more even, but without a doubt, I think uh, looking at output and success rates, uh, Walters has taken a slight edge. As a fighter now, as a cornerman, not knowing how that first round went, if you're Scott's cornerman, and let's say you feel that you're being honest, your guy lost that round, really you've got to say now, get, get the takedown earlier, and you've got to work for that finish now, because if absolutely. it goes to judges, there's a very good chance you're not going to get the decision. Absolutely, absolutely. I would certainly, if I was in Skov's corner, be saying, you need to, you need to get, this guy, get this guy to the ground, which he obviously wants to do. And to be fair, he's only tried one takedown attempt in each round, so it's not like he's been, been searching for it actively, but if it is what he's good at, which he clearly wants... I think he needs to start he from needs the to off get doing it, really, because if I was Walter's corner, I'd be saying more of the same. Keep him on the feet keep boxing your boxing is what's winning yeah. this fight it's the difference in this fight is his boxing again he comes out I mean Scott does cover up well but you're not going to win by being a, def a defensive you're gonna, you need to land shots the gum shields come out there Walters has pushed that back in and they're back off again you're not going to win a fight by, by blocking shots you need to throw your own shots as well that's it that, that puts there went straight to the glove As you see, Ash has now taken, taken the, the centre mainly as uh, he's keeping Skov on the outside. Yeah, Walters has taken over this fight really. I think Skov needs to change what he's doing. He's doing the same what he's done in the first round and second round. And yeah. Walt, uh, Walters has adapted from that first round and, has, and you know took over that second round. And he's doing the same again. And I think Skov needs to change what he's doing. Yeah, absolutely. Totally, totally agree. I mean, Skov, Skov is again just searching for the, picking the single shots searching for that that high kick the odd the odd low kick needs to be needs to be doing something that's good something different because it, it hasn't been necessarily working it hasn't been having much success i don't think really he's landed anything terribly clean on on uh, ash so far and nothing with power anything anything that's landed that's touched it's been like a, it's almost been like a semi-contact strike there's been nothing there you said oh that looked good it's all been pitter patter striking or as you like to say stand and tag and stand you're not stand and tag's not going to win you a fight not when you've got someone like this with a Chris Boxing that, uh, that Walters has got. And certainly not when you're two, round, two rounds down in the, in, the, in the third. But here we go, Scov with the takedown. But Ash straight back to his feet. That is the closest he's come. But he's, he's, see, he needs to work down that body and he doesn't. He gets the grip broke and he almost gives it up too early. Yeah. He should be on him straight away now because even if he gets him down, he's not going to have enough time to finish the fight. He needs to get in there now and get him down now. Yeah, I have to say the he could. I think he could have committed a little bit further to the takedown rather than easing off quite as quickly as he did. Well, once they, once they broke the hold, charge back in on him again. Don't give him a chance to breathe. Get straight in there and get the grip. A little slip, slip there was the exchange kicks. You do get the impression that Walters has come from a boxing background, though. His, his footwork is very good. I have again. to say, I, I, the difference here, I think, the the experience of Walters in. He, he looks like a guy who's seen everything that Skov is trying to throw at him before. Yeah. He's been and done it before, hasn't he? He's been there and done it before. And again, he's just got. To, if I'm, I think he's just got to keep doing what he's doing, and he, he's going to take. He's going to be taking this fight three rounds to nil. 
Yeah, I mean, that first, like I said, was very close. So you, you, maybe that was an even round. But two yeah. and three, I, I definitely feel that his boxing has been the difference and his takedown defence. Keeping the fight standing is, uh, and is what's going to edge him this decision. And Scov's output with the kicks has gone higher. And uh, I think that was the best shot he landed. landed a nice right hand there. And then he shoots in for a takedown. He's trying to score late, the late points. It's too late now. The old George St. Pierre special with the late takedown. That was a good fight, good fight. You can see how much it means to Walters. Cracking crack respect between these two guys as yeah. well. You know what, you've got to admire these young lads that fly over from another country. Oh, 